I'm Brian Reynolds, and this is the NWI.com Daily News Update for Thursday, December 15th. A Lowell couple is accused of abusing a teenage boy, including locking him in a dog kennel. Vernon Widener is being held in the Lake County Jail while his fiancée, Tina Graham Widener, is free on $5,000 cash bond. The couple faces 16 felony counts alleging criminal confinement, battery, intimidation, neglect of a dependent, and strangulation of Graham Widener's 14-year-old son. Lake County prosecutors and police allege the couple denied the boy meals since he, since he was in the sixth grade, forcing him to steal food from school. Police said the victim accused Widener of beating him with a horse whip and a belt, locking him in the family's dog kennel overnight, putting a, pulling a knife on him and putting a loaded gun to his head and threatening to shoot him. The couple faces a maximum penalty of 20 years in prison if convicted. East Chicago police believe a man struck and killed by a vehicle last month was the victim of a hit and run. Victor Lopez was struck and killed on November 29th. Police are seeking the public's help for information regarding the incident. A witness to the incident told police Lopez was hit in the inner lane, knocking him to the outer lane where a second car drove over him. The first car stayed at its scene but later drove off. Police described the initial vehicle as gold with Illinois license plates. An order to boil water following a water main break in East Chicago has been lifted. A failure in a primary water main located north of Columbus Drive at 141st and Alder Streets on Sunday required 48 hours of tests to prove the water was safe. City officials said no harmful bacteria was found in the tests. For updates on these stories and more, log on to nwi.com throughout the day or check out the Times iPhone or Android apps.